everybody, Herfdorf, I am Walrus, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we defeated a giant vat of cola, and br and revitalized the Bean Bean Queen, a and we real and we figured out uh, Cacoletta's plans to get the uh, star she's looking for by using Peach's voice to grant all of her desires, preferably to rule the world, most likely. And also, we also learned that Prince Peasley has discovered her whereabouts in the Who 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 University, which is to the west of here. And I also went to all these shops, and during my trip to these shops, let me... That was like a Bean Lakitu or something. I got some equipment. I bought some hard pants from Mario to up his defense. And I got some trendy pants. I brought some Bean Trousers to wear for Luigi to up his HP and his defense. So, I guess that's always good. So, now that I've got both of those, I'm going to avoid Mr. Bean Lakitu here to like to fly over me. Teehee Valley's up, Bean Bean Castle Town is to the left, and Woohoo Hoo University is down. Okay, so I need to go to the Woohoo Hoo University, which is down, and avoiding Mr. S Bean Lakitu here is a jerk. So, let's just switch to my hammer. I meant to switch to hammer with Mario. And let's hop on Mr. Squiggles here. I forgot his name. I forgot that enemy's name, like a squ- it's squiz something. I, I, I recall that much. So, let's use a hammer on the Sharpie. Boom, 14 damage. Let's use another hammer on another sharpie. Boom! It's 13 damage. And now let's hammer the swarm. Ah, uh, it's not a. It's not a. I just recall like swarm and swarm. I recall that like word sense where it's kind of the same. So now that I put, now that I stomped him on the head, Woohoo -hoo University is downward. So I just got to completely just avoid some enemies. Is there anything on that bluff there? Oh, there is a um. High jump. Let's use a high jump. Let's get straight so Mario can. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to switch to hammer. Well, actually, switch places first. Give Mario the hammer, knock Luigi on the head, and have Luigi jump. And get a chuckle bean, so that's good. So hit them both at the same time to revert back to your main thing. That's another thing that was in the book room. It also taught me that stash points gives you more chance of getting a lucky in battle, while also helping shopkeepers be nicer to you. And that guy just totally went out on the bridge, even though I don't didn't think he would. And he just exploded me. This bomb means business, Stony. Dang, they're doing 14 damage apiece. That's crazy. So wait for him. Hit him on the head. And of course, I still get damage. How on earth do you avoid the bombs then? Well, Mario grew to level 13. Now he's back to where Luigi was when he was by himself. So, since I learned so much about stash points, I think I'm going to up them up a bit. So let's get two more stash points. Sweet. So now that Luigi's nearly dead, I think I'm going to just... He's rev he has one HP, doesn't he? Yep, I knew that's how it would go. Mushrooms and... And I guess that's it. Well, actually, let's use Mushroom and Mushroom. Let's just re revitalize them completely before we actually leave. So, now let's go to the right here, and... Is that a Bean Koopa or something? Jeez. All these Koopas have, like, random eyes. <laughs> Whoa, these Bobombs are kind of crazy acting. Kind of acting crazy, excuse me. By these rocks are... I also learned from somebody else that buy all of these rocks or like a squid or like jellyfish or something. I completely forgot what to do. He said it was just a rumor, but I believed him anyway. And, well, it doesn't look like it's true for now. Well, every rumor in a video game seems to be true, so I don't understand why it wasn't. So screw you, Mr. Koopa. Why are you trying to attack me? I didn't do nothing to you. So can I jump up here? Maybe. Let's give it a shot. Oh, no. I was too far to the, to the left anyway. Well, I don't think I can make it up there anyway. So, is there any way down here to go? Maybe. Let's give it a look-see. And, no, there is not. There is no way to go down here. I don't even know why I tried to go down here. Maybe there's another way up there if we go upwards, but I highly doubt it. There's a fence right there. There's also a fence around each side of here, too. And another bomb. Ugh, bombs. And what is this Koopa going to do? Nothing! He's going to fly right at us and completely scare me. So, let's just try a bros attack. Let's try... Um... Splash Brothers. Let's try it on the bomb. bomb Okay, come on. There we go. It did 25 damage to the bomb. Come on. And, of course, he's going to get to attack me regardless. So, let's use Bounce Brothers on him. And, boom boom or just completely destroy him that's kind of what I wanted anyway so hop over this guy I don't think there's any way to just range his attacks I think maybe I'll have to look at his uh let's try chopper brothers and clonk clit a clonk boom and 15 damage only that sucks so let's just jump on mr. paratroop P. paratroop P. that's funny and now he's just a troopy 
Now it's just a troopy paratroopy. Is he gonna end up the other end? Wow, I just thought he was going to, like, be a Pac-Man and go across the other side of the board. And boom, and boom. There we go. One damage apiece. What did he do? Did he just squirt water on himself? Why? Okay, that's weird. Can I bend him over? Or not? I was hoping I could, like, flip him over and land on his stomach, like in Mario game tradition, but apparently that's not the case. So, let's just jump away from these guys, since I don't believe there's anything else here for me to do. And actually just go down. And because Hoo Hoo University is probably lower than I thought. Yep, it's through here, most likely. Uh, let's see what all these guards have to say first. You can pass, or so I've been instructed to say. You can pass, or so... Okay. They're all saying the same thing, because they're guarding the same thing. That's like a random... That's like an obvious thing in games. Jeez, the troopy is just annoying me. The all these troopies all over the place are annoying. They're just right rolling around at the speed of sound. What do you have to say? Woohoo Hoo University. That's amazing. I can't cross. Oh. Well, I apparently am dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to hit all of these together. And there's only one apiece now, since I took so much time. And let's hop under both. And who's this guy? Is he's like a bean philosopher or something? He's like a fan. Uh, let me think of a bean pun really quick. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, sh dang it. Uh, a philosopher that is also affiliated with beans. Let me get a. Let me just think. Uh, bean. A uh, bean critique. Um. Um. Bean. I don't even know. Uh, bean Aristotle. I don't even know what they could say to have a bean pun in this. But it's probably somewhere near. Eek! Run! Whoa! All of these guys are scared. And this place is probably haunted, is it not? Oh, jeez, I'm scared now. Well, I can't believe Luigi actually agreed to go wherever this is. So, we're just gonna have to walk a little bit forward. What do you have to say? Kakleta and her crew snuck into the Who University. They transformed all of the Who University's professors into monsters! Oh, really? Oh, jeez, is he turning into a monster? Uh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. That is not pleasant looking. It's like a sniffit with a laser. Oh, it is a it shoots a circle. Of course it does. All right, you know what? Sniff it with a laser. Prepare to face Chopper Brothers. Boom, boom, bada bingus. All in the face. Done and done. I just stopped hammer timed him. I just completely destroyed some some random guy who just had the unfortunate aspect of being turned into a monster. I feel sorry for him now. That's that just sucks. And this place is very, very starry. Not even gonna lie. Also, let's take a look at that map before we go any farther. Holy crap, this university! It's enormous! Jeez, holy crap. Okay, let's uh, switch places real quick and switch to jump so we can get up here. Switch with Mario. Let's get them both to jump thank using that trick that somebody taught me to hit L and R at the same time so I can switch completely. Is there any way? Oh, I just thought this was another pathway leading. So, can we go down here? No, we cannot. So, apparently, the only way we can go is up. So, let's head on up. Hmm. What's around here? This looks like an interesting spot for some kind of battle. And a switch is there. So, let's go ahead and hit this switch. What does it do? It brings that to an O. It brings that to a zero. What does this do? This opens... Yep, it takes down the electricity field and completely opens that up. So, let's hit this button, one, let's hit this one more time, and that that went back to an X for some reason, I don't know why. Let's hit it this time. Let's turn it to an O, because we can, because O's are better than X's. So, let's just move on, I suppose. I don't know what the O's and X's signify, it could mean something very important that I should keep my eye on later, but I'm just losing my mind right now. So, Mad Scientist Bean, that's very reassuring of good things to you're in my way. So there's two of these guys, so let's wait for him to charge up his circle. Oh, come on! Jump. There! What?! I thought I totally jumped over that. So let's use Chopper Brothers to completely destroy this stupid sniffit looking... <laughs> I love how if you screw up on the first one, he just knocks Luigi into it like he's golfing him. Alright, let's give it a shot, and boom. 23 damage, jeez. And jump over the hole. There we go, we actually jumped through the circle like a good little boy. Uh, let me... 
I didn't even look at the name. I, I just assumed his name was Laser Snip. Laser Snip it called it. <laughs> uh, he chose Mario like a golf club, golf ball too, because he's that nice. Sorry, I just wanted to see if it did the same thing for Mario. <laughs> Clonk him on the head and boom! Experience for up the butt. This is pretty worn down. We're just getting. Whoa! What is that? Is that a virus from Doctor? Lots of viruses. From These are the viruses from Doctor Mario. Did he just bite my head? What a jerk! Oh no! It's a beaker. Oh my goodness, I just got killed by a beaker with flame sticking out of his arms. Oh, clonk that guy in the head. And they turned into a blue virus. Oh! Oh, that makes sense! If there's more than one of the viruses on the board, they just kill each other. That's kind of funny by going by actual tradition of Mario games. So let's feed Luigi a 1-up mushroom. Let Luigi go up. And just thank Mario for his bravery, I suppose. So let's use Knockback Brothers since it's so good. Boom! Cut a cling! Boom! In the face! 34 damage. Jeez. I could have sworn I ran into one of these stupid viruses. Jeez. That would mean there's like more than one of these viruses per fight, I would assume? That would make sense. What do you have to say? So we're right there. I assume we have to get into the dead center of the university, as shown right up there. So as soon as we get into the top left room there, I think I'm going to end the episode off. So let's just hurry up and head past these stupid looking viruses. There's so many enemies all over the place, for crap's sake. Jeez. They're all in the way, too. Oh, that guy just totally jumped! I just thought he could chase us. And he's gonna bite on Luigi's head, which sucks. And just wait for him, and then clonk him on the head. Clonk him on the head again, because he can't... He's not gonna get the chance to just completely change himself up. So, I... Okay, if I remember, I clonked the, um... Red one on the head, and he turned blue. So that means, if I clonk the yellow one on the head, he'll turn red, correct? Yes! Booyah! Good thing for knowing color patterns. <laughs> no, I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh, jeez. I love this so much. Boom! That I like hitting that guy in the face with my red peppers, huh? Does that increase your attack like in the other games? Maybe. So let's see what you have to say. Oh, it's a map. What am I talking about? Of course, it has to say nothing. Of course, maps have to say nothing. That's a yellow one with a blue guy's face. That's a little odd. Just really quick, let me go into my uh, item inventory and eat a mushroom real quick. So let's feed both of them mushrooms and get some syrup in them. Boom. Okay, that's good enough. So now we can move on without worrying about dying really fast. What do you have to say? Generator, Suvis room, and a sun door. Suvis room. I don't even know what I'm saying. So let's go over to the right here and see what we can find. What is here? Pressure release code. Um, uh, I don't even know. I'm gonna assume. I'm just gonna give it a label. Blue, red. Blue, red, 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 blue, blue, red, blue, red. Okay. B R B R R R R B B R B R. Okay, that's easy to. Never mind, it's not that all that easy to remember. I don't remember it already. I'm going to forget that. Well, I'll write it down on a piece of paper in a later episode. You'll have to excuse me. So, well, actually, I think I can remember it if I give myself a little bit. Ch little bit of chance here with remembering. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say that we need to use our hammers in order to do this. So clonk it. Yep, I knew it would change. So let's head back into the other room here and see if we can't, if I can't just use my memory. Sundor release code. Okay, so BRBR, RRRB, BRBR. Okay. So it's essentially opposites if I can remember these. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so with Mario, clonk, uh, it's B R, B R, R R R B, B R. Oh, and so it was the same to begin with. That's the thing it started out with. So what I have to do is get him in the other direction. So R R B B, R B R R, R B R R. Okay, so the R Bs are on top of each other. The Reds are on top of each other, and the Bs are on the t on the other end. Oh, can I remember that? I need to look back because I need a refresher. So, okay, okay. Our Bs are on top of each other. Uh, uh, why do I feel my like I'm dumb? Okay, the Reds are on top of each other. Thank you. The Reds are on top of each other, and the R Bs are on top of each other. That's easy. So, red, blue. Okay, red. Go, I have to do it in the front. Red, blue. Red, 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 uh, red, red, blue, blue. So hit that one more time. 
There we go. Sweet. Booyah, I actually remembered it. I feel smart. And by smart, I mean I feel like an idiot. So I opened up a sunbeam leading to... Where exactly? Oh, it's leading to all of these... All of these mirrors. So if I lead a sunbeam to the mirrors, it will lead to... Well, it will open the door for me. That's very interesting, actually. I wonder if we'll actually have to move the panels in order to see if the puzzle works out that way. Jeez, I didn't even think I was going to be able to avoid those guys. So let's use the high jump to get up here, go around. And there's a lot of viruses in this room. And I can't believe I got hit by the yellow one. Great. So I'm going to have to get rid of them the old-fashioned way, just by changing their color. And Luigi's going to get hit here regardless. So that sucks. So the thing I'm going to do here is jump on the red one. Boop. Then I'm going to hit the blue one. Done and done. Booyah, you suckers. And they're as good as dead. So that's always good. So now that we're here, I think... But well, what does this do? What is... Oh, it, uh, it happens with Mario. So jump, 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 jump. So it's essentially just sending it back to each other. That's neat. Oh, is it just going to keep going until I miss? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, only 14. Yep, until I miss. I was right. And it's still there. I don't know why. So anyway, now that we are deep inside of the Woohoo Herniversity, I, well, we're on the Woohoo Versity corridor. I believe I'm going to end off the episode here. So thank you all so very much for watching. Herp Derp, I am Walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.